know where exactly is Fiona headed next. Well, like you just heard Stephen mention, Fiona made landfall as Category 1 hurricane in Puerto Rico, and then it made landfall again this morning near Boca de Yuma, Dominican Republic, at roughly 3.30 this morning Eastern. You're looking at some video on the left-hand side of your screen. Look at those strong winds and all of that flooding that's just inundating communities all across the island. So a very dangerous situation, and unfortunately, we're continuing to watch Fiona strengthen and become even more and more mature. So we saw Fiona first make landfall in Puerto Rico with 85 mile per hour sustained winds or max winds rather. But then in the Dominican Republic this morning at 330, it was up to 90 mile per hour winds. So we're slowly but surely watching as Fiona continues to strengthen as we also are looking at 977 millibar pressure when landfall occurred this morning in the Dominican Republic and what's expected to happen. So these are our spaghetti plots. These are all of our forecast models. It shows that the center of Fiona will remain open over the eastern portion of the Dominican Republic throughout the afternoon and evening as it continues working its way to the north northwest. It does take the track of Fiona just to the eastern side of Turks and Caicos, so it will be impacting the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos later tonight into Tuesday. So this is a concern, especially for many other Caribbean locations. You can see the winds are our biggest concern. Look where Turks and Caicos is lining up. So this is exactly in the path where we will see potentially some of our strong Longest winds, and that's what's going to be the most detrimental. Now, what will happen as we head later into the week is that Fiona is continuing to move into a more favorable environment and will continue to strengthen. We will be dealing potentially with a very strong hurricane, potentially category three hurricane by the middle to end of the week. And then what is in the path? You can see Bermuda right there. So the cone shows Bermuda is directly in the path of Hurricane Fiona by sometime Friday morning, and then it will continue working its way to the north by Saturday morning still by Saturday. So by next week, and Stephen, we will still be looking at Fiona still maintaining its strength with 90 mile per hour wind. So we have several more days to go. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.